And at the White House today, President Obama signed the first bill of his presidency, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act. Ms. Ledbetter was there watching the president sign the law, giving workers more time to file pay discrimination cases. Today, with one of the first bills that I signed, reauthorizing the Children's Health Insurance Program, we fulfill one of the highest responsibilities that we have to ensure the health and well-being of our nation's children. After a mere four weeks in office, the president today signed what he called the most sweeping economic recovery plan in American history. It includes $288 billion in tax cuts, $144 billion in aid for state and local governments, $59 billion for health care, and $43 billion for energy. Well, President Obama used a Rose Garden ceremony today to sign sweeping new credit rules into law. The rules, which take effect in nine months, put a stop to arbitrary interest rate hikes and surprise fees. Judge Sotomayor is the true American story. It's quite a journey from a poor childhood in the Bronx to the United States Supreme Court. Her story brings a tear to your eye and makes me proud not only of her but of being American. She's a, a brilliant, pragmatic progressive who is intent on hearing all sides. I will do my best to consider every case impartially. It has now been nearly a century since Teddy Roosevelt first called for health care reform. And our failure to get it done year after year and decade after decade has placed a burden on families and on businesses and on taxpayers that we can no longer sustain. After a year-long political battle, the House has passed a sweeping bill that will transform Americans' health care system. It's a major victory for President Obama following a final day of high drama on Capitol Hill. $1.3 trillion saved for the taxpayer and accountability for the insurance companies so they cannot come between patients and their doctors. It now goes to the President of the United States for his signature. We should make it per perfectly clear this is a huge victory for this President. He's been able to do something that uh, no President has done in nearly 50 years, and that is get Congress to pass sweeping health care reform legislation. This is momentous. It will transform people's lives. For a long time, our student loan system has worked for banks and financial institutions. Today, we're finally making our student loan system work for students and our families. So tonight, I am announcing that the American combat mission in Iraq has ended. Operation Iraqi Freedom is over, and the Iraqi people now have lead responsibility for the security of their country. Today, the president will sign that new financial overhaul bill that's aimed at preventing another market meltdown. He says the bill includes the, the strongest strong consumer financial protections in history. Today's report means that we have now seen private sector growth for 11 months in a row. And that means since last December, we've added 1.2 million private sector jobs to the economy. The Senate is just about to pass the START Treaty. They just passed it, as I understand, from 71 to 26. So this is a very, very big victory for the president. By a wide bipartisan margin, both houses of Congress have now passed a package of tax relief that will protect the middle class, that will grow our economy, and will create jobs for the American people. And then finally, don't ask, don't tell, we'll be gone once and for all. You know, earlier in the, in the month we had been saying it might not even make it to the Senate floor, and sure enough, it passed. For the first time, gays and lesbians will be allowed to serve openly in the armed forces. Some are equating the vote with the end of racial segregation in the military. This is momentous. It will transform people's lives.